Ready, set, start. My mom isn't fancy like the other moms. Darielli is learning to read. While this Bure Dual Language Academy third grader is reading, an artificial intelligent reading assistant called Amira is listening to her every word. My mom wears her gardening clothes. When Darielli struggles to pronounce a word, Amira stops her. You might have said whispered instead of whisper. Be careful not to add an ed at the end. And prompts Darielli to sound out the word. Now you say the word. Whisper. Way to go. She um sounded the word perfectly. That helped maybe help me um pronounce the word. This is the second year students at Bure have used the Amira reading program to learn both Spanish and English. So the idea of the program is you're really with a tutor pretty much the entire time you're on Amira. And as you're reading to gain fluency and to gain word recognition, and wherever you're at in your path. Educators say they love that Amira is like a virtual classroom assistant and interacts with the students, so they know immediately if they said a word incorrectly. There's resources on Amira that you can actually find videos for kids if they're struggling with certain letter sounds or certain vocabulary. There's um, little lessons that teachers can do embedded into it as well. And they say students are developing their reading skills faster. Oh my goodness, what do you think? What was that other letter that also spelled Z Ezekiel? S. S. The Amira program works in conjunction with the science of reading, cognitive research that shows more phonics with an emphasis on learning to sound out the words will help students who may be struggling learn how to read. You can't teach letters if children don't know sounds of letters. So from the very basics all the way through to what Amira then picks up on, um, I think that we finally, the science of reading is really going to help and Amira is a good support for that. Overall, this reading program is assisting students to learn how to read at their own pace while making you reading have said fun. Practice instead of practices. Be careful not to drop the ES ending. Now you say the word. Practicing. Okay, let's go on.